Hello, sports fans, baseball fans, White Sox fans out there. I'm here with the recap of the White Sox past week. And it was a short week, and it was a bad week. I knew it! I knew it was bad news. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe if you tell me the bad news in a good way, it won't sound so bad. So, let's get into it. Started off July 20th, the White Sox at Houston. This was uh, Keuchel versus McCullers. And the White Sox came into the game 43-28. and 28. This was the last game against the Houston Astros. In the bottom of the first, Houston loaded the bases but came away with only one run. Top of the second, Lamb hit a two-run homer and it was 2-1 White Sox. In the bottom of the third, with one out, Tim Anderson dropped the ball during a rundown, allowing runners to be at second and third. Alvarez then singled runners home and it was 3-2 Houston. Just like that. Single for Toro, Taylor Jones hits a one-run double, it's 4-2 Houston. After a second out, Miles Straw walked and the bases were loaded. And then El Tuve walked, forcing in a run and making it 5-2 Houston. Keuchel rele was relieved by Bat Foster at this point, so a short day for Keuchel. Trying to show his, own, his uh, old team that they made a mistake in not keeping him, but uh, he didn't do that. Foster walked McCormick and then a run and a run scored and it was 6-2 Houston. Bottom of the fourth, Korea homered and it was 7-2 Houston. You kind of see where this is going. Houston would go on to tack on another run and win the game 8-2, and the White Sox fell to 30 to 43-29 and 0-1 and on the week. Now uh, June 21st was a scheduled day off. No game. June 22nd, the White Sox at the Pirates. You're thinking, okay, it's the Pirates. This will be a good series. It was only a two-game series, and it wasn't really even particularly good. Uh, this was Giolito versus Tyler Anderson, who I have on my Stratomatic team, by the way. White Sox come in 43-29 and 29 and 0 and one on the week, and they end up losing the first game to the Pirates 6-3. For the White Sox, Abreu was one for four. Grandall was one for two with a homer and three RBIs. Giolito was one for two. Mercedes was one for one. Giolito went six innings pitched, gave up four hits and two earned runs. But then Crochet eventually got the loss. He didn't get any outs and allowed four hits and four earned runs. For the Pirates, Frazier was one for three and an RBI. Frazier, one of the guys that I think personally the White Sox should go get because we need him. Well, we need a lot of things, but we could use Frazier. Reynolds, two for four with two RBIs. Um, Philip Evans, two for four. And uh, Eric, I think it's Eric Gonzalez, one for one with two RBIs. Tyler Anderson, the starter for the Pirates, went six and a third. He allowed five hits and three earned runs, but he didn't get a decision in this game. That went to Bednar, who got the win, going a third of an inning, one hit, zero earned runs. The White Sox dropped to 43 and 30 and 0 and 2 on the week. They played two games at this point, lost both. And that brings us to the second game against the Pirates, which was on June 23rd. The White Sox come in 43 and 30. 0-2 for the week. This is Cease versus DeJong, or DeJong, I don't know how you pronounce his name. DeYoung, maybe, just like the DeYoung on St. Louis, who knows. Maybe it's his brother, I don't know. White Sox win, though, 4-3. The White Sox, for the White Sox, uh, Tim Anderson was 2-5 for five with an RBI. Goodwin was 2-3. for three. Garcia was 1-4 for four with a homer and an RBI. Cease went five and two-thirds innings. He allowed seven hits and one earned run. And Hendricks got his 19th save of the year. 
for the Pirates, really the only offensive uh, fireworks or goodness or whatever you want to call it was uh, Reynolds going two for four and Frazier going two for five with an RBI. Uh, and DeJong, he got the loss. He went four and two-thirds innings, and he allowed seven hits and four earned runs. The White Sox go to 44 and 30 and one and two on the week. On the 24th, there was no game. And then on the 25th, that was a uh, the beginning of a homestand against the Mariners with uh, Kikuchi going up against Rodon. The White Sox come in 44 and 30 and 1 and 2 on the week. And uh, they end up losing this game 9 to 3. They got thrashed. For the Mariners, Hanniger was 2 for 6 with an RBI. Bowers was 2 for 4 with an RBI. Torrens was 2 for 5, 2 homers and 4 RBIs. Dylan Moore was 2 for 4. And Fraley was 1 for 3 with a homer and 2 RBIs. Kikuchi got the win. He went five and two-thirds innings, allowed two hits and only one earned run. For the White Sox, there really wasn't anything good to talk about because Moncada was two for three with two RBIs and Grandall was one for three with a homer and an RBI on that home run. It was himself, and that was it. And then Rodon got the loss. He went five innings. He allowed five hits and three earned runs. So with this, the White Sox drop to, um, or the White Sox lose nine to three, and they drop to forty-four and thirty-one on the year. At this point, we were only two games in front of the Indians, and we were one and three for the week. And then that would have brought us to the Saturday game, but the Saturday game was suspended because of bad weather. So that's what you basically have right now. One and three this week. The injuries are starting to be a problem. They're starting to be a real big problem. We probably should have taken both games from the Pirates. And I would have expected, the normal White Sox, I would have expected would have taken at least one of the Houston games. So, yeah, we got issues. And, they, uh, you know, hopefully some of these guys that are on the DL can come back soon because it's getting to be a problem. Now, uh, the Indians, they just keep hanging around. Now, the only good thing that I will say is that apparently the only team that's willing to hang around is the Indians. Everybody else is pretty much done. Detroit, done. The Twins, done. And um, Kansas City, I think, even done. So... Uh, it's just a matter of staying ahead of the Indians. And I think we can manage to do that because they have their share of injuries. And even when they don't have injuries, they're not that great. So that's what I got for you. How do you guys feel? You think we're in trouble? Or do you think we're going to come out of this? Um, there was a time I thought that the White Sox were better, even with the injuries, than the Indians. But now I'm questioning whether that's true. So let me know. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Always willing to uh, talk with people that are uh, White Sox fans or even really just baseball fans and you got an opinion. And uh, that's going to be it, though, for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.